The mullahs, or holy men, are never far from the Ayatollah's side. They organize demonstrations and control the crowds. But these are not the mullahs the Ayatollah is concerned about. What worries him is the sheer number of mullahs, a proportion of whom are self-styled and short on training. Because, in fact, there is no compulsory training to become a mullah. A man can put on a mullah's clothes and call himself a mullah. And, because of the respect it brings, many do just that. This is a training school for mullahs, one of only two in Tehran. And it's to establishments like this that the Ayatollah wants to make sure trainee mullahs come. It's a life of complete discipline. Classes are held in the Quran and theological teaching, and there's no age limit on those willing to learn. And as evidence of the existence of false mullahs, we were told how recently in the holy city of Mashhad, an opposition politician addressing a crowd told all the mullahs to remove their headdress and then put it back on again to prove that they were genuine mullahs. Thirty couldn't do it. The crowd set on them and several were killed. And as we were shown, the operation's an intricate one. Exactly how he wants his Islamic Republic to be, the Ayatollah Khomeini has not said. But he seems determined that the ranks of the mullahs shall feel a sharp wind of reform. John Suchet, News at 10 in Tehran.